Good morning guys, so it's a new day and today being a Saturday it's all closed almost all of Israel is closed and you don't see any of the shops open so what I'm doing is I'm going on a walking tour around the place maybe the Mount of Olives and I heard that there's another neighborhood over here called Mishkanot which is a pretty nice place this was built by some British minister for Yemeni Jews over here and yeah let's see how that goes all right so i'm almost here now for the day i was initially planning to just rest because yesterday was quite hectic all the way you know from jerusalem to bethlehem but i mean at the end of the day i just couldn't stay back in my room and i just thought of moving out and mishkanot was this one place which was suggested to me by this one filmmaker dude whom i met in the hostel where i'm staying so it happens to be one of the most expensive places in Jerusalem today although you know the history was completely the opposite and this was meant for the Yemeni Jews who who were outcasted by the local Jews over here because you know they look different and all of that but today it happens to be one of the most expensive places in Jerusalem All right, so it seems like I'm here and this is definitely a very, very beautiful place to live in. I'll just show you around. This, this is literally where people live. And to imagine that this was actually a place where, you know, the outcasted people used to live, it's quite strange. Absolutely clean, quiet. Oh, we have the flour mill. I can see that. We're gonna go somewhere towards that. And that was built back when you know all of these houses were built over here. And the houses of people around. Beautiful place, beautiful, beautiful place. No wonder this place is so expensive. Seems like a viewpoint out there. I'll be visiting that place. Flag of Israel. Alright, so what you see behind me is a flour mill. Now as you can see it over here. But the view in front of me is something that I'd absolutely not expected. That's Jerusalem for you guys. Perhaps I'll go over there, there are fewer people out there and then I can try and search up what are these places around, try to ask people and perhaps get a better idea because it's such an expansive view of the entire place. 
all right so i have some more contacts now um what you see over here like i had obviously previously mentioned that's the old city out there and on this side what you see in the lowland as you know these are very low lying areas and that's very very close to west bank and we i don't exactly know where is the division between israel and west bank but that's where it is Bethlehem is somewhere on this side you know beyond and in the distance far away in the distance i don't know if, if it's really visible in the camera but um those are the jordanian mountains so that's part of jordan that's another country altogether pretty interesting place all right so the next destination is perhaps going to be the mount of olives or the mount of zion let's see whichever i'm able to make it see you bye bye so i'm following my maps quite literally so I have no idea which routes I'm taking, you know, sometimes I'm walking across some field and sometimes across some garden. From now it's going to be a long walk uphill. Uh, I have no idea if I'm even going to reach where I want to go, but yeah, I think it's worth taking the risk. Alright, so I just learned that I have to go about two kilometers uphill and then I'll reach an intersection. Then I take a right turn and then go downhill. And then go uphill again in order to reach Mount of Olives. So that's going to be a long, long journey. But the view is absolutely fantastic. I mean, have a look at this. Wow. I believe what you see in front of me are the thousands of Jewish graves out there. I'll try to get closer to that place. In the meantime, it's been a long walk but a very satisfying and yes yeah, so this indeed is the mount of olives what you see in front of me are like thousands and thousands of graves this is actually the mountain the mount from which jesus ascended into heaven Now beside the Mount of Olives uh, you have the Silvan village, the Silvan necropolis that's again you know a place that's mentioned that's again a place that's mentioned in the Bible so these are extremely historic places and very very important and what you have here is some sort of an observatory I'm not very sure what this means but in any case you know this is the entire fortress and it's part of the wall called Ophel wall that's what's written yep. so Silvan is a primarily Palestinian uh, locality but under East Jerusalem no I was just wondering that anyone who's been a big fan of Assassin's Creed uh, video game series I mean you know these seem to be the places where someone like Bayek or Ezio would be you know jumping around in these fortress walls Pretty interesting place. Alright, so what you see there ahead of me, down there is the tomb of someone that's uh, the tomb of Absalom that's what Google says and it's a first century AD tomb that's cut into the rock as you can see that's I mean it's the hill and then you suddenly see this tomb over there which is nothing but just you know the rock around it has been cut out and pretty impressive structure you know dating back to one to the, to the first century that's like almost 2000 years old huh yes i'm up close to where all the graves are and this is a closer look of this magnificent monument i would say you know imagine that imagine that this is cut into a rock oh. and i also see something interesting up there i have no idea what that is but perhaps i can take a look and uh, Well, I don't even know what to say, but 
this place is the tomb of Virgin Mary. You know, someone whose name you have been hearing, you know, perhaps since childhood. And, you know, I just randomly came across this place and then I checked up and this actually happens to be the tomb of Virgin Mary. The church or whatever, I, I have no idea what you call this, but, or perhaps the tomb itself seems to be closed for now. Um, maybe because it's Christmas or whatever be the reason. But yeah, I'll try to take a closer look. Insane man. Perhaps this is a slightly better view. I mean, I tried going in but it seems to be locked. And yeah. Okay, so now the next stop would be the Mount of Olives. I'd, I'm already in the Mount of Olives but try to get closer to where it is and um, get a better view of the old city of Jerusalem from slightly higher up. So now what I'm doing is climbing up the Mount of Olives and the road seems beautiful but also quite steep i've been walking for a long time by now but i think you know the excitement of seeing something new just keeps you going and going and this is the church that i saw from down there but the gate seems to be closed the timing's okay today is yeah never mind it's closed but yeah that's the route that I'll be taking up okay so I was walking up the hill and came across this magnificent sight I mean just have a look this is the Mount of Olives and thousands of graves and what you see in the distance is Jerusalem of course of the holy city from where out there you get a better look from up there but just have a look at this oh. after a lot of hard work if you happen to uh, see something that warms your heart i think it's worth it right and that's exactly the feeling that i'm having right now i mean i've been walking since two hours now and finally i'm greeted by this sight can it get any better than this the holiest place in the entire world right here in front of you First of all, all of these graves, you know, just beside me, humbles me so much. Everyone over here was alive at some point of time, having a life of their own. Each stone that you see over here, each gravestone has a story of its own. But now it's all part of nature, perhaps. And yeah, the very reason why this mountain is called the Mount of Olives is because you know, this, all of these slopes were uh, all, all of these slopes were covered by olive groves, but now, of course, you know you can see it's very different. Um, yeah, so I'll walk a little bit more, and I'll, I'll show you the view from up there, and then I'll start going back again. Those sun rays—it's almost like you know some divine blessing on the holy city of Jerusalem. Insane. The view that I have in front of me presently is essentially a summary of entire Jerusalem. And take a look. Can it get any better than this? That's the entire old city of Jerusalem. That's exactly where, you know, the, the birthplace of all the three Abrahamic religions. The Golden Dome stands out, that's the Al-Aqsa Mosque. The Western Wall somewhere over there below. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah. That's all of Jerusalem for you, the old city. Anyone ever planning to come to Jerusalem, make sure that you do this hike all the way up. I mean, I, I did have to come a long, long way, you know, all the way from there somewhere 
down this road, down here, and then over here, and then all the way up. So that's quite a long way, but the view is definitely worth it, you know, just to know that this is exactly the place where Jesus ascended into heaven from, and, or at least so they say. Alright, so after this insane experience of a lifetime, I think it's time for me to go back. It's a long way down, but yeah, I mean, listening to the Azan and now, you know, the bells in the church. You can hear that, right? <laughs> I'm just, you know, falling short of words. This is beautiful, like extremely beautiful. All right, the sun is now out and it looks all the more beautiful. But some people have come in right now. It's quite good to see people actually after a long time. Uh, Arab food, you know, is falafel, shawarma, right. chicken. So like I'll get all of that in the Muslim quarter? Yes, you can get it. Oh, that's uh, great. Again. The roads are pretty narrow. Yeah, <laughs> but, especially in this area. Yeah. But we're used to it. Yeah. All right, so I saved a lot of time and energy. I just, you know, asked a random guy for a lift and he was kind enough to take me all the way down here. I mean, you can see the mountain behind me. I came all the way down in his car. He is Muhammad and he was kind enough to give me a lift. So now my plan is to go to the Muslim quarter because I've heard that there's like extremely wonderful food. So. I'll go over there and perhaps try out some new food, yeah? Alright, so that's the lion's gate ahead of me into the old city. That's the way in and turning right from there, I'll enter the Muslim quarter. Alright, so I am on the right track. Uh, I just asked someone where can I get some good falafel and shawarma and all of these. And they've pointed somewhere straight. Let's keep going and Wait for the best. Right, so there's this one particular falafel guy that I'm looking for. I heard about him or I saw about, you know, I saw his video in the vlog by Kira and Nate. And I have no idea where it is. It seems like a good place to find some food. I'll just keep walking. Uh, 
So this is what it looks like. Pretty huge. Alright, so this is the place where I had my food. Some amazing shawarma. Now I'll get back to where I came from, Abraham Hostel, in Jerusalem. So yeah, I think it's time to depart. So this in front of me is the Damascus Gate. Now, all of these different gates here in the old city are named after where they lead to. So you have the Damascus Gate over here because it leads directly to Damascus in this in this direction. Uh, and you also have, so yesterday we went into the Jaffa Gate that leads to Jaffa. We have the Lion's Gate, but that's not because it, uh, so that's simply because of the design of the gate. But yes, like all of these gates that are named after places, that's simply because that's where they lead to. And the hustle and bustle of the city, right in front of the Damascus Gate. And also see like the soldiers everywhere for security. Alright, so I'm almost back into my hostel. It's just one or two blocks away. And I think that's the end of the vlog for today, right? It was a long journey, long walk. In fact, I'm still walking. And it was truly memorable. And now it's time to get back to the hostel. See you. Bye-bye.